Hmm, let's go see Chwazi's profile. Um, wow, how do you get to 2,600 trophies? You know what you have to do, right? You have to kill this son of a bitch. Hey, what is up everybody? It is Raging Fury555 here today and we are going to do another video. So we're going to go over the Balloon Hog Freeze deck again. And it's because the deck is very good. It's the best deck I've ever seen. And uh, my epics, they're all level two or level one. As you can see when I scroll down, like Prince level one, uh, level two here, level two. I only have the Expo, which is level three, but the Expo is like cheap as hell, so I don't use it. But um, basically, uh, this strategy is really good because all you really need is rare cards and um, commons. You do need the balloon and the freeze, but the balloon only needs to be like level 2 and the freeze only has to be level 1. So it's a pretty good deck and you don't need great cards for it. I just recommend minimum level 5 hog rider, minimum level 5 bomb tower, minimum level 5 fireball. You know, pretty basic. Um, not too hard. And even if you have like level 4 hog rider or level 1 balloon, you should probably still be able to get to arena um, 7. So before we start the video, uh, let's hop into a battle first, but as we're hopping into the battle, I'm just going to tell you guys a couple quick um, updates with the channel. So basically, um, my cousin's router broke, or like, you know, the internet, um, internet box broke, so he won't be able to upload right now, but um, I'll be uploading for the next few days until he gets a new one and I'm for the hundred dollars I got I'm gonna use it for iTunes once I get to legendary arena but I'm gonna try to get to legendary arena without gemming first before I get do some gemming so yeah that's basically it um, there's not much else um, and with my own pocket money, I'm gonna buy a blue snowball, which is pretty cool. And yeah, so that's basically what I'm gonna do with my money. And we are getting wrecked in this battle right here. Um, I wasn't really paying attention because I was talking to the mic. And yeah, we're getting crushed. So um, yeah, um, don't do what I just did right there. Um, the deck right here does not work especially well against the golem push, unfortunately. It's the one ma major flaw of the deck. But yeah, so he has a level 4 golem, so I'm basically screwed. And I'm just trying to tie it up here, I guess. Um, he's going to counter some minions, which is going to screw me really bad. Uh... Yeah, um, let's go try this again because I, I really failed and this is not a good way to start off a tutorial for sure. Um, we're going to let ourselves die right here and I'll be back once the game is over. Okay, so we are back and battle is over. Um, don't do what I just did right there. Um, now is where the tutorial starts and I'll be teaching you guys everything you need to know for the deck right here and let's get started. Uh, yeah, okay, let's get started. Wait, actually, let's, let's watch a replay first. I think a replay will be very good. And uh, we're gonna watch the replay right here because he had a P.E.K.K.A deck and I want to show you guys how easy the P.E.K.K.A is to counter. So you always, if you have the bomb tower in your first cards, um, always place the bomb tower first. Um, setting up defense is very important. So place your bomb tower first. 
after you place your bomb tower, I don't really have a lot of good card selections here. So I'm gonna place a fireball, take the wizard out and the ice wizard to very low health. Um, the prince is gonna get a couple hits off me. Um, it wasn't really my fault. I didn't start out with the best starting hand. You always wanna have like a couple archers or a couple barbarians when you start out, but um, no, prob no problem. So we're basically just waiting here. Um, not we're not at a huge disadvantage and I'm gonna place my balloon and I have my free spell ready and he's gonna place down the wizard I'm gonna get a perfect free spell and the main the main uh, thing you need to know about the deck right here is you need to have very good placement to free spell because the free spell has a pretty short range and it's not like it used to be in the beta where the free spell had a four, it was like a four um, radius. Now it's only three, a uh, big difference. But anyway, let's get back to the video and I'm gonna place a bomb tower against all this chaos. I'm gonna place a fireball first. And I hated how he placed, um, I hated how he placed the, uh, um, Dark Prince behind the P.E.K.K.A. It just like made his P.E.K.K.A. go way faster and just pushed the P.E.K.K.A. to my to my tower, which was really bad. And we're already losing here. We're not at a good start right now. Not too good. I'm gonna get my freeze ready. A uh, wizard. He's gonna place a wizard down, but no problem. I'm gonna take out the tower pretty easily. And balloons coming from the other tower. He's gonna freeze my balloon. Pretty smart. But I got a free spell on my own, so I'm gonna freeze up his wizard and his his ice wizard and the tower. Get a hit off of him. I if there's like a wizard or a musketeer hitting your main tower, the tower with with the cannon on it, don't really worry about it if there's not major damage being hit to it because your main tower has a lot of health, so you can sacrifice some health from your main tower and still be okay. So we're heading into 10 seconds remaining right now, and it's pretty close. Um, not my best game, but we're, we're playing our best right now. I'm gonna counter with a free spell on my own, and it's basically game over. And yeah, so basically game over right here, not too hard. The free spell is very good if you know how to use it. Um, you just gotta watch the video and look through it and see what I did. So I'm gonna try and explain it again, but we're gonna go into a live replay right now. Hopefully we can get a good match. Okay, we're playing uh, some, I don't know, Ching Chang guy from some Chinese clan or whatever. And we're gonna place the Hog Rider to start out, try to get some early damage in the game and get your freeze ready. And he's gonna place down a wizard. We are already ready. We placed a freeze spell and we already have the early damage advantage. Not too bad, actually. And we're gonna counter his prince over there with our barbarians. And we're gonna take the prince out. Not too hard. We are winning the battle already. And that free, the hog free strategy is very good, too, by itself. But what's good is we have the balloon and the hog rider. It's very good in double overtime, mind you, because you have more elixir and you can place the hog, hog balloon and the free spell pretty easily together. But in regular time, let's say you place a hog rider and he counters with a bomb tower, then you're pretty screwed. So then you let your bomb tower, uh, let the bomb tower take out your hog rider. But then after that, you can use your balloon free strategy, which also works out very well. So there's no problem at all, and he does not have a defense tower to counter it. So you basically won the game already. And yeah, that's why the strategy is so good. So he's gonna place a prince, I'm gonna place some barbarians, uh, some lag right there, and the barbarians did not get placed quickly enough for some reason, I have no idea. And he has two ice wizards, I'm really pissed. I still do not have any legendaries, so I am pretty jealous. So I'm gonna place a mini whore, trying to counter this guy. Um, 
and I don't know I do not know what my minions are doing right now they went the other direction and he's gonna take out the tower right here unfortunately as I said um, the deck right here the only problem with the deck is it's very very it's not very good against the golem decks but all decks have their flaws okay no deck is perfect unfortunately and that's how um, Clash Royale is. If there was one deck that was perfect, everyone would be using it and the game would just not be fun anymore. So we're trying to go with the push right here and he's gonna let us push basically. And I'm gonna place a pretty awkward free spell, not the best free spell in the world, but we're gonna be able to take out the tower right here. And we are winning right now. And it looks like we're gonna get the win and he had way higher cards than me. He had a level 3 Prince. He had all the goodies and the Ice Wizard. And we were still able to beat him. Why? It's because we play strategically. We use our free spell very well. And the Balloon and the Hog Rider strategy is way OP. And it's not even cheap. Because it's not like the freaking Mortar deck where every time you use the Mortar, you're going to get everyone pissed off. And. People are going to try and kill you probably after you use the deck. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to do one more replay. Try to go over the Balloon Hog Rider. Balloon Hog Free Strategy right now. Because I really want you guys to get it. Because the strategy is very good. Very good. And we're, we're going to be playing a level 9 right here. And uh, not too good. Level 9, 2700 trophies, it's going to be a pretty hard battle. Um, I know you guys like to watch Royale Rusher, some of you guys, but even though he makes every strategy work, doesn't mean it's actually good. Like He's playing at 2100 trophies, I'm playing at 2600 trophies, which is a whole nother level. It's way harder, and you, do, you, do, you guys don't know how hard it is up here. It is freaking hard. Um, like, yeah, that's basically it. It's way harder up here. It's not like easy peasy down at 2100, unfortunately. So we're going to place a fireball, get the princess, the elixir collector, and the tower hit. And yeah, with the fireball, you always want to get as many targets as possible. You never want to use a fireball and only get one group of targets. You want to get maybe a minion horde and a group of barbarians to kill. That's why I bring the fireball. You can take out the mortar. You can take out all those troops. You can take out the mortar, the expo, uh, barbarians, and the um, other cards can't do that. Like, for example, if you use the uh, arrows, it won't work as effectively. Unfortunately, I hate to break it to you. But that's the truth right there, and we just placed a horrible free spell, and yeah, now it's my, completely my bad. Don't do what I did right there. And he's going to place a nice free spell right here, and we are going to get absolutely raped. Oh my god. Um, yeah, we're getting pretty screwed up right here. Um, he's a way higher level than us. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like we're going to win the replay right here. Uh, we're going to place a hog rider in the back. We're going to go with a huge push right here. I don't even care anymore. It's the hugest push life has ever seen. Oh, no. Please, come on, get to the tower. Come on. Oh, shit, I forgot about the P.E.K.K.A. No, no. Okay, we got the tower. Boom, we got the tower. See, Hog Rider Balloon Freeze is a very OP strategy. We'll we place the minions down, take out the P.E.K.K.A. right there. Not too hard. Um, Hog Rider coming towards our way. Uh, we're going to try and counter this but as well as we can. Uh, I don't know, guys. We look pretty screwed right now. And we're just trying to go for the tie right here. I'm trying my best and oh shit that's not good uh double princess damn it i don't even have any legendaries it's so cheap okay we took out the princesses no problemo and oh god that's not good uh no bueno uh okay minions are taking out the pekka 
We'll place a bomb tower to counter the hog rider, and the hog rider didn't even go for my bomb tower. The heck? Uh, okay, 30 seconds remaining. We're gonna go for a very, very risky push right here. Even though our, our main tower is at very low health, try and win the battle right here to show you guys the strategy. It's very good. Um, he's gonna freeze my balloon. Looks like the battle is gonna be a tie. And yeah, look, this deck is amazing. 2,700 trophies, guy. He's obviously a gemmer, and we were still able to tie him. So, I don't know about you, but the deck here is very good. You guys should definitely try it out, and if you don't, I don't know what to say. Um, if you guys are lower level and you guys don't have like the free spell or the balloon, I will make you a new deck down in the comments to help you guys out. But yeah, um, if you have trouble using the strategy, just watch the replays again. Um, try to learn from them if you don't really, uh, if my commentary isn't very helpful. But yeah, it takes practice. Don't give up after a couple battles. It usually takes a while to learn it. Give it at least five to 10 battles. Keep trying, it will work. Trust me, you just gotta get that free spell placement. Very precise, very accurate. But yeah, um, subscribe for more content. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.